What's going on everybody? Sparks Comics here. It's time for another Sparks Notes comic review. This one is for The Strange Disappearance of Barnabas Jones. This is a graphic novel from Behemoth Comics. Uh, this one, real cool. Uh, the art style is awesome in here. This is, uh, this I think came out in January. I just finally got it from Behemoth in my last order from them. Uh, but we're going to talk about this one for this comic review today, so stay tuned for that. But first, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and drop a comment below. Let me know if you've read this. Um, I haven't talked to anybody yet who has, so I'm hoping there's some Barnabas Jones fans out there because this is a cool book. Um, and let's uh, talk about it in the comments. Welcome back, everybody. Let's start talking about this. The Strange Disappearance of Barnabas Jones, a graphic novel from Behemoth Comics, written by Damian Connolly, the writer of You Promised Me Darkness. We've got art by Kundo Crunch, which, according to uh, Nathan from Behemoth, that is his, his uh, actual legal name. Uh, and we've got translations, again, by Annabella Mazzaferi. Um, on a shadow cat uh, so what is this story about well we get a cool little description here so if you want to read it you can pause it there um, but I'll go through it a little bit it's tw the year 2040 we are in the city of Goddard uh, a team of aspiring heroes is set to uncover the hidden mystery of the disappearance of Barnabas Jones the city's biggest hero this mystery leads to many paths, and the team will have to face all kinds of evil in order to find the truth, and of course, Barnabas Jones. Talking monkeys, giant dolls, vinyl records, Satanist beatniks, a Japanese Elvis, cubism, action, romance, horror, and mystery, a dystopian saga that could reveal not only the secret to immortality, but also the recipe of the most delicious triple-decker sandwich in the universe, Welcome to Goddard. From the ultra-talented team of Damien Connolly and Kundo Crunch comes this high-octane action-adventure story. Um, and yeah, like I said, the art in this is super cool. Um, we meet our team relatively soon into this story after getting a little bit more about Goddard. A city founded by a mad architect with a passion for rockets, Another piece of junk that survived the last war. A place with two different realities. If you're on top, it means at some point you didn't talk. If you're at the bottom, it's because you don't like to keep quiet. I move around in the middle. Although I'm not so sure about that. Um, and that is our narrator, um, Anima Riot. We've got a whole cast of characters uh, besides Anima, but we've got um, some info about Barnabas Jones as well. With I just I love this art style. It's so unique. It's different um, than what we're seeing in a lot of other comics. So I'm appreciating the art in this one. Um, but yeah, so she tells the story to everybody about how the how Barnabas, uh, you know, how his legend came about, and then the fact that he disappeared. Um, but nobody knows where he went, why he disappeared, what happened. And police couldn't find him, friends couldn't find him. And so that kicks off their investigation into finding him. Ninrod Salo tries to leave. Um, he is, as Anima calls him, an idiot. But he has resources and she needs him for that. He has a beautiful gun called Eliza. She wants it, but she hates Ninrod. Um... We also have Flo Nothing, and she is a beautiful witch from New Orleans. She has a zombie named Randall, and um, we also have Dashiel Damage. Um, he's more like me than anyone I know. Uh, be careful, though. He can kill you eight times before you even hit the ground. That's where the damage comes from, but he's a sweetheart. Um, and then, of course, Anima, you already knew that, psychotic, paranoid, a pathological liar, a secretologist, 
and most importantly, a very, very beautiful woman. Um, P.S. Sure, I have one or two of those special powers. P.S. Two, I obviously have many secrets. Um, and so what she's saying is, she come previously said uh, she comes from a race of people that do have powers. Um, and so that kind of gives you a little bit of mystery there to start out the story of what, what's her powers, what can she do? Um, and I think as the story progresses, we learn more and more of those powers. Um, but they're not, it's not always revealed right away with her. Um, interestingly though, after they get together to go and try to find Barnabas, a giant doll attacks the cafe or restaurant that they're sitting at essentially destroying it and they try to fight it off um and it is a great sequence of events here um what happens um is is a bit of a spoiler but uh i'm going to tell you guys because it is such a cool thing that i think it might get you interested in the story our witch from new orleans flow comes and saves the day and takes control of the doll um, and what she's able to do then is turn it into uh, a doll a, a tiny doll and be able to control it if she needs it later um, and so they start their quest there's several parts to this it is a graphic novel um, I don't know if it tells me a page count here um, I'm not seeing one but uh, it's, it's a decent length, um, and it is well worth it. I mean, look at this on the back. We got, like, a panda-looking guy here. Um, we've got, uh, like we said, a, a Japanese Elvis, they said. Um, we've got all kinds of different things. There is a little bit of nudity in this, um, in the way some of the characters are drawn. Um, we've got... Uh, some rock and roll, we've got rockets, we've got uh, lots of crazy things going on in this story. Um, and like I said, panda guy. Um, it's just, it's, it's a fun story. I enjoyed it. Um, we've got, it looks like four acts total in the book. So, you know, if you're reading it and you want to pause at some point, there's a great like chapters to pause and stop. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. It's, uh, you can get it from the Behemoth Comics website. I will drop the link directly to it down below so you guys can go check that out. Um, but it's a great read. Um, it's not a long read, but it does have a lot of, uh, of story in it. And it's, uh, it's uh, one that I definitely recommend you guys check out. So, um, Strange Disappearance of Barnabas Jones, a graphic novel from Behemoth Comics by... Damian Connolly and Kundo Crunch. Uh, the cool thing at the end is it does have these little like bios of uh, Damian and Kundo, as well as Anna, Anna and uh, Athos Pastor, who I think was the editor on this one. Um, Athos Pastor and Damian did the lettering, sorry. And Athos Pastor does the design. Um, so it gives you a little bit about each of them. Um, and that's pretty cool as well. So be sure to check that one out. Um, like I said, on the Behemoth Comics website, and that'll drop below. So thank you guys for watching this review of The Strange Disappearance of Barnabas Jones. Um, if you haven't already and you've made it this far, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment below. Let me know what you thought of this graphic novel, if you've read it, and if you haven't read it, are you going to go pick it up? Uh, as always, collect what you love. Catch you guys next time.